A page creates a story run specific web page. With this, you can do three things. First, collect information by embedding a form on the page, which most customers have been doing all along. Then there's pushing information by embedding metadata to a page, which we introduced with the form redirects back in November. And then the other thing is a combination of both, where you can collect or push information at various points in the story based on the story run and actions taken. This is a natural evolution of what was formerly known as forms. This offers new opportunities to collect information at multiple stages of a story run, create feedback loops when finishing a project, introduce a dynamic status page, or even as a way for an end user to report suspicious activity. Pages enable you to do it all. So how does it work? You drag and drop the page component onto your storyboard. You can link it to actions to determine when and where it appears. You configure whether or not it includes a form or exclusively pushes information. After we've received the data from the page, you can flow it through a number of actions and enrich the data before you share the final output. With the ability to incorporate a page at multiple points within a story, you can build branching logic using triggers to determine what actions need to happen based on the user input. While you can still send an email or chatbot notification, you can also include a link to the output page where the destination party can receive dynamic updates on whatever information you want to share. Now there are two types of fields that we have available when creating a page. The first set of fields are text and dividers. Use heading, paragraph, and button to frame out your page. I like to use paragraph to set up as a description and a header that provides a strong title of what the page's purpose is. This will tell your audience what to expect on this page. From here, we can inject data points or metadata from the story run into our paragraph. Maybe you want to use this as a way to see who on your team is actively on PTO. On the back end of the story, we could be reaching out to Slack's services once a day to see who has their status set to PTO and to dynamically list those users on your page. This could save cycles of having to check into a designated platform. Of course, we want to create pages that are secure. If you don't want anyone into your page, you can always put that link behind your company's SSO. Other than being a dynamic landing page, we can also leverage pages to create an intake process. First, you'd identify which input fields you'd use. We currently have short text, long text, email, URL, option, date, boolean, number, and file upload. Mix and match these field types to achieve different results for your given use case. Thanks for taking your time to review this content and looking forward to all the cool and exciting ways you leverage a page throughout your stories.